I find it hard to think of a better time to get some perspective than 2021. Of course, you can get perspective literally by climbing a hill, or wandering in a valley, or looking out to sea. But I've got a quicker way that involves taking a nice short walk only 200 metres long. This is what 200 metres looks like on a beach, from me to the person in the far distance. Or you could imagine two football pitches end to end. That's about 200 metres. Or using another method of measurement, it's 20 double-decker buses parked nose to tail. The difference is that for every one metre we walk, we will be thinking of it as 2 million years of time. So on this 200 metre walk, we will cover 400 million years of life on Earth. So here we are on the starting line, going from the past to the present. 400 million years ago, there's plenty of life on Earth you will recognise. Non-flowering plants, like mosses and ferns and lichens, and some early insects, like spiders. They've been around long enough to become very skilled, high tensile structural engineers. They eat so many other things which would render the Earth uninhabitable within six months if something didn't eat them. So it's just as well there are lots of helpful spiders out there the evidence of which is easy to see on a dewy day. For various reasons, plenty of people don't like them, but in truth, there are only a very few to stay away from. They are one of the best friends we have. So let's walk 100 metres up to the end of the first pitch. In 200 million years, life has got much more complex, and the Earth is populated by all manner of things, like dinosaurs in a huge variety of forms, and there are plenty of insects in the air, and there are even some early mammals. Then something cataclysmic happened, probably involving volcanoes, and much of that life was lost. Although today, you can still get close to some of the survivors. You see them easily enough every day, in birds, and in insects, and in mammals. We have walked halfway up the second pitch now, and are 50 metres from the goal line a hundred million years ago. Now is a good time to start thinking, well where do we fit in? Well, not yet. But by then, the earth is brimful with all sorts of flowering plants, including trees. And with all those flowers, there comes a profusion of pollinators, including bees and insects and moths. And they still are absolutely essential in producing much of the food we eat today. Now here we are, at 65 million years ago. I always find it a bit strange that whether you're 8 years old or 80, it's the one date that is set in many people's minds. The end of the dinosaurs. Devastating. But it did set the scene for mammals to explode in number and begin to populate the whole earth in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And so it went on for a long, long time. Remember we were walking the length of 20 double-decker buses? Well, our next stop is right up in the driver's cab of the last bus. 2.5 million years ago. When things begin to get recognisable. Almost. These are the earliest hominids and our direct ancestors. Although similar, amongst other things, they have bigger fists and bigger teeth, so it's probably best not to get in a fight with one. One last stop and we're at home. This book is about 10 centimetres wide and on our scale that is 200,000 years ago. And that's where we come in, Homo sapiens, the so-called intelligent ape. In the 4 millimetre wide last chapter of that book we developed agriculture, about 8,000 years ago depending on where you were on earth. And although we often are unaware of it or forget it, we are all products of an agricultural civilization. And the last page of that book? That's 0 0.1 millimetres thick, or 200 years in time. That is pretty much the whole industrial revolution, and everything we have come to think of as normal. Planes and trains and automobiles, water in the pipes and electricity in the wires. It is only in the faintest slither of recent times we have started getting used to everyday technology, and climate change, and Covid. 
is a lot to take in over such a short time. If sometimes it seems the world is getting very busy and noisy and confusing, that's perfectly understandable because it is busy and noisy and confusing. <laughs>